Biden's executive orders will be null and void in this county, dealing with anything, dealing with the Second Amendment or to any violation of the Constitution. Those are null and void here, will not be accepted by any past, present, or future administration. We will not accept it. The people of Newton County, the residents, they were crying out for protection and safety from this because of what they're seeing now from the news media of this government that tends to take a tyrannical type uh, approach towards gun laws. And as a public official, elected official, we are here to serve the will of the people, not our own will. And we're not seeing that at the federal level. We are not seeing that. We're seeing a game being played at the federal level. They continue to rule by executive order, and that's only done in a tyrannical government. No amendment to the Constitution is absolute. Secondly, everyone should have a universal background check in order to determine whether they're capable of owning a weapon, whether they should own a weapon. When you look at that, why would they want to do that? It's just simply control. The only reason any public official would want a gun removed away from a, from a private citizen, law-abiding citizen, would be to control them. It comes down to one thing. That is the next step in trying to control the U.S. populace. What would be the response in your county if the federal judiciary actually impugns the U.S. Constitution, tramples it, and sides with Biden and the Democrats? Then we're lost as a nation. We don't have a free country if that happens. And let's pray that it does not, because things would be very bad then. We passed this ordinance for the reason of safety because we don't want bloodshed. We've already fought a revolutionary war. We've already fought a civil war. I don't think we want to keep repeating history. And hopefully this will stop any bloodshed that could possibly come from this. Because we don't want to repeat history.